Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the HTC MyTouch 3G. Uh, if you're not over there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for a how to load a custom ROM on the HTC MyTouch 3G procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to route your MyTouch 3G procedure before you attempt to do this one. Um, at the end of that procedure, you should be sitting on your recovery image screen, um, and we're going to start this procedure right from there. So if you haven't done that, go back, do that procedure. Once you're done with that and you're sitting at the recovery image, you can then come to this procedure and continue. Okay, with your phone still in recovery image from the last procedure, the how to root procedure, um, we're going to scroll down and click on partition SD. Then we're going to click partition SD, home to confirm. And we're going to set the swamp size to 96, the XT2 to 512, and the remainder to FAT32. So then we're going to hit home and wait for it to partition the SD card. Okay, once the partitioning is done, we're going to scroll down to SD EXT2 to EXT3, click home to confirm, and let it upgrade the EXT2 partition. Okay, next we're going to load a, a basic. Uh, my touch ROM with root access um, after you load this one you can load whatever ones you want but I recommend you loading this one first um, so you can get one ROM on there and then I'll show you how to uh, load different ones after that so download this one here by clicking on that link there and download that to your computer okay now on the phone in the recovery screen we're going to get back to the main menu we're going to select USB MS toggle and wait for that to enable once it says it's enabled, we're going to plug the phone in via USB. Okay, once you download the generic MyTouch ROM with root, we're going to copy it over to our SD card that just popped up since we enabled the USB toggle. And you're going to copy it to the root of the SD card, not inside any folders. Uh, so it'll just be a removable disk and then your ROM. Okay, once you're done transferring the uh, ROM to the SD card, we're going to hit home to disable uh, the USB storage mode. And then we are going to scroll down to wipe and hit wipe data factory reset, hit home. And then we're going to hit back, scroll down to flash zip from SD card, and we're going to select the ROM that we just put on there and hit home and wait for that to flash. Okay, once it says install from SD card complete, we're going to click reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the uh, phone turns back on, you'll be at the setup screen for your new ROM. So you, once you get into that, you uh, have root access, you have your custom ROM, uh, you can start using things like Wi-Fi tethering, overclocking apps, etc. Um, if you want to load another ROM, um, it's optional, you don't have to, you can just leave it here, but if you want to load a different ROM, I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, if you want to load a different ROM, you just turn off the phone. Then we're going to turn it back on by holding down home and power until we get to our recovery screen. So keep holding it. Okay, once the recovery screen comes up, you can let go. We're going to scroll down to USB MS toggle. And we're going to select that. And then we're going to plug the phone in via the USB cable to our computer. Okay, now you need to decide what ROM you want. So in step four, we have a link to our MyTouch 3G ROM section. All these ROMs will work on this MyTouch. So you can scroll through all these and decide which one you want. And then click on that and download it. Okay, once you download the ROM you want, you can drag it over to your phone's memory card that just popped up when you plugged it in. Uh, again, as always, make sure it's not inside any folders and it's still in .zip format and it's just on the root of the SD card so it's a removable disk and then the ROM itself. Okay, once it's done transferring, you can click the home button to disable the USB, unplug it, and then you're going to scroll down to wipe, then wipe data factory reset, hit home to confirm. And then once that's done, we're going to hit back. We're going to scroll down to Flash Zip from SD card. And we're going to select the ROM that we just put on. And then Home to confirm. And wait for that to flash. 
Okay, once it's done, it says install from SD card complete. We're going to click reboot system now. And wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone boots back up, you can go through your setup process and you've got your new custom ROM. Enjoy.